All right, if you have started um, tagging your clips, you're probably asking yourself, is there any way that we can speed this process up? It is a very tedious task. Huh? In our last tutorial, we showed you how you can save some time by creating templates. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how uh, you can use a batch process method to also save a little time depending on the types of clips you're working with. So how do you do a batch process? Well, first of all, uh, you select the clips that you want to work with. Now, unfortunately, Pond5 doesn't seem to have a way where you can select a group of clips. If I click on this one and go down with a Shift key and grab one further down and then try and select these boxes, it's still only it doesn't select the whole group like you'd like. So, uh, unfortunately, you seem to have to click all of the, the ones individually that you want to work with. And uh, this might be a good reason why you should only upload groups of clips that kind of have the same content or same background like this group of clips that we just uploaded on the Dominican Republic. If these were the only ones that needed tagging, then we could just use the box at the top and that would select all the clips. Uh, unfortunately, I also have some down at the bottom here on Vietnam that I haven't tagged. <laughs> so um, it's not going to work uh, to do it that way. We're going to have to uncheck that and just select a group of clips that we want to work with. Now there's a couple of different uh, methods that you can use to apply a batch process that will affect your or speed up your tagging process. One is to apply the template that we created in our last tutorial. We could apply that template to all of our clips on the Dominican Republic all at once. So we won't go take the time to check all of the boxes. But just so you have an idea, let's select some here and then uh, apply that batch process. And you can do that by going all the way down to the bottom, down here where it says Actions and just to click the drop down menu there and look for an option that uh, says apply video template and click on that and then hit execute then it will ask you to select the template that you want to apply and hit submit and uh, then that has gone through and applied our Dominican Republic template to all of the ones that we checked in one big sweep now if we were to open these up using the edit key, we would see that the template has already been applied. We don't have to, you know, go in and apply the template. If we scroll down, we see that the template is already in place. But there is another method that you can sometimes use. Let's go back to our uploads that uh, can save uh, a little bit. If you have a group of clips that are very identical in nature. Uh, so for example down here in our section on Vietnam I have a group of clips that I shot at a garment factory. Let's see if we can find those that uh, are basically all the same. They're shots of uh, individuals working at a factory here in Vietnam making jeans. And every shot is almost the same. It's a person at a sewing machine, basically, sewing jeans together. But I wanted to provide a variety of shots that editors could uh, choose from. And uh, so we have a group here. Let's, let's check these. Now we can go to our batch actions here and look for an option called batch tag video. Let's click on that and execute. And now we get a, a, a box that, that pops up that is, looks very similar to our, our tagging screen, has all the, basically the same fields. And so here we are given an opportunity to enter information once that can be applied to all of the clips that we selected. And so in this case, I think I could, I could enter uh, even a name for title. We might say uh, garment factory or garment worker or and uh, here you can enter a very generic description that uh, will at least begin to describe what these clips are all about. And uh, then later you'll have the opportunity to add more for each individual clip, depending um, if there's a big difference or not. So it might say something like, Stock video of the garment industry in Vietnam. 
um, workers at a clothes factory in Ho Chi Minh City sew jeans for world markets. And uh, that'll get us a good start on each of those clips, that group of clips. Put in the year, 2013, December, don't usually worry about the day. And you'll notice some of these fields, once you start to type, it'll remember uh, an entry that you might have made in the past, so you don't have to type out the whole thing, you could just select that. We'll pick the country from the list. By choosing it from the list, you make sure that uh, you get the spelling correct. And that helps the search engines find your clips, if you've got the country spelled right. Uh, we'll select camera, put in the Canon 6D, and we can leave those excluded from the template. We'll make sure the 16 by 9 native is checked. Pricing, we want to put that in for sure. And then we can start typing in some keywords. When you're doing keywords, it's good to not only do singular, but also plural. That helps. Uh, because when people are typing in search engines, they'll often type in uh, a plural version of the word. Like if people are searching for stock video on dolphins, they, they usually won't put in stock video on a, on a dolphin. Uh, so a plural is actually probably the, the way that most people will type into a search engine. So be sure and remember plurals. Well, you get the idea. We won't take time to come up with some more words at the moment. Because this grouping of clips has both male and female, we can't really put that in. We could put uh, contains people. We could use Asian ethnicity. That's fine. And uh, then, as you'll see in a moment, we have the opportunity to add more keywords uh, to each clip before we submit them to the curator. Collections we won't worry about at the moment. Let's save changes. And you'll see that it processed that batch for the clips that we selected. So when we go back to our window here, we see that all of the clips that were not selected did not get applied to this batch. But all the ones that we had checked will have now received that uh, batch information. Now, uh, sometimes that won't actually show up until you do a refresh. You know, with the large database that uh, Pond 5 has at the moment. It might take a minute to really update. Let's do a refresh and see if that shows up. And uh, here they are all showing up now at the top of our list, including the information that we just typed in. However, they still have not been submitted to the curator. If you were to close out your browser now and uh, just leave it like that, these clips would never get approved because they still haven't been submitted to the curator. We have to still go into each one and uh, submit them individually to the curator. But that's a good thing because now you can go in and uh, add just a little bit more information if you want to in the description. Uh, you could now add another keyword to reflect that it's male or female. And if you can think of some more keywords, you have an opportunity. A sewing machine. Um, you know, add add whatever keywords that you want to that uh, kind of uh, describe the full clip. All right, and then we can submit to the curator for review. And so you can see that this does save some time if you've got a group of clips that are very similar. All right, well, I think that does it for the uh, shortcuts that are available. And in our next tutorial, we'll show you just a few more tips and tricks and tools that you can use at the Pond5 website.